All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to learn why should we use arrow functions in JavaScript. So for that, I got in here an object that represents a customer that maybe is on a restaurant or something like that. And he wants to order some drinks. So you got in here the name of the customer. We got some drinks that maybe he would like to order. And then we got a method, a function in here that we would like to run to see what kind of drinks this person would like to order. But the thing is, we got this function in here using a regular function declaration. And if I would like to run this function, let me just put a console.log inside of it, saying, for example, Peter wants to drink something. All right. For me to run this function, I just have to do customer, which is my object. And if I'm going to do dot place order, I'm going to call the function, of course. And I'm going to run this node main.js, which is my file. I can see in here, Peter wants to drink something. But the thing is, the majority of the times, we don't want to hard code these values, like this one, Peter, because they, it's available for us inside of the object itself. So let me just go and first of all, comment out this console.log. And now I just want to do another console.log of the this keyword. Okay. And I'm going to show you now what is the this keyword. Basically, when we are creating a function, like a regular function declaration like this one inside of an object, this function declaration has the ability to bind to its own scope the this keyword that basically represents the object where it was um, created on. So when we create a function like this using a function declaration inside of an object, this function declaration has the ability of binding the this keyword to its own scope. So if I'm going to run this, let me clear the console, let me run it. And I can see, look, that this keyword represents the object where this was created. But the same is not true when we try to use an arrow function. So if I convert this function in here into an arrow function, and now let me just clear the console, run this. When I run this function as an arrow function, the this keyword comes as an empty object, as you can see. This is because a arrow function actually does not have the ability to bind the this keyword to its own scope. All right, so if the arrow function actually does not work for these kind of situations, where should we use the arrow function then? All right, let's see an example for that. I'm going to convert this back into a regular function like this. All right, let me comment this out. And what I want to do now is now that I use a regular function declaration, I can access the this keyword, so I can access all the keys from this uh, object, all the properties. I want to do this dot drinks dot for each. So I want to access these drinks because they are an array. And now I want to use the for each because it's a loop that allows us to loop through each element of this array. Okay, so this for each function takes a function inside of it. So I'm going to put in here a function. All right. And this function needs to have a parameter that will represent each one of these uh, elements that we are looping through the array. I'm just going to call them for now drink. For us to make sure that we can uh, print these onto the console, I'm just going to do a console.log of the drink. OK, so when I call this function of place order, this function is going to run, which will loop through all the values of our drinks. And we just want to log into the console the value of the drink. OK, let me just clear my console, run this again. And I can see, look, water, orange juice, beer, all good so far. But now there is a problem. 
what if inside of this console.log, I'm going to try in here, convert this into template strings. I want to log the name of this person that we have in our object. So I'm going to put in here, this dot name wants to drink. And I'm going to put this, the drink itself that we just got from this parameter. Okay. Let me run this. And when we run this, we got undefined wants to drink water or undefined wants to drink orange juice or beer. Now here is the problem. And this is where we could actually use an arrow function now. So let's, let's just evaluate what's going on in here. We are looping through our drinks array from up here. Look, because we have access to the this keyword. Remember that when you create a function declaration inside of an object, the function declaration will bound to its own scope. So this scope up here will bind the this keyword, meaning that we have access to the, all the properties of the object. But this time, when we are running this for each function, and we are calling in here another function inside that will loop through each one of the elements of the array. When you create this new function, this new function is binding to its own scope, another this keyword. So it doesn't have access to the this keyword from before. So this is actually a problem. So in order to solve this, we could actually, instead of having in here a regular function inside, convert this into an arrow function. And what's going to happen in here now is when we try to run this arrow function, we try to get access to this, this keyword. This keyword does not exist inside of this scope at the moment. So it's going to go outside of this function to this previous other function that we had created and see if we have the this keyword in there. We actually have it. So because we have it, we can put in here the this.name and then we just have in here the wants to drink something. All right. So let me just save this, make sure it's working. So I'm going to clear my console. I'm going to run it again. And this time we got in here, Peter wants to drink water. Peter wants to drink orange juice and Peter wants to drink beer. All right. So that is it really why we should use some arrow functions. It really solves this problem of the this keyword. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.